Hey, Awana leaders. So I wanted to come on here and clear up any confusion that we may have about club because I know that we are starting out and I know that we're all trying to figure this out together. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. And I appreciate each and every one of you and all the hard work you're putting into all of this. So if you are a puggle leader, a puggle teacher, a puggle shepherd, as we are going to start saying, because you are shepherding the flock, um, you are going to want all of your kids and you're going to encourage all of your parents to come in class with their bag and I have made a video for them as well so they should know this and if they don't just keep encouraging them um, and y'all are doing a great job at, at encouraging families so keep up the great work and so when the kids come into class if you do have three leaders in your class that's very handy because one of you can do this and then the other ones can be helping the kids um, do their activity or play, um, whatever you guys have found that works so far. And so the book that you're going to take out, you're going to have a designated leader. Every time the child, a child comes in, you're going to want to get their book. Now this may take some time, so you know don't feel like you have to do it right when they come in. Just take one child at a time, and then you're going to look inside their their book and then I also have a calendar that you guys will get to so you know what you're going to be working on um, each week and you'll see that at the bottom there is a check mark for the parents so if they have done their homework there will be a check mark on this you can give the child a sticker Here's Puggle, you can give them a stick, give them a sticker and applaud them, clap for them, make a big deal about it. Yay! Belle did her paper. You did your activity at home. I'm so proud of you, Belle. Give me a high five. And so that's something that you can do and make a big deal about them working hard and learning what they're learning the lessons they're learning. And now I will say I think we are, I think I have um for some reason I was thinking we were a week behind and we are. So the cards that I'll go over here in a second and I'll explain. So our next club is October 26th and they need to have lesson 1.3 completed. So whatever is on here, so you're on track for class, but I, I forgot to put the right card in with the parent stuff. And so what I mean by that is in their book or in their uh, Big Truths parent card um, books, I we put the lesson that we were working on in class. Um, if you remember, the God made sky and water. So that's the last card we gave them. But we want them to be ahead. And so I went ahead and I added um, for this one, God made everything that grows. And that's lesson 1.3. So that is what we want the parents working on the lesson that's on the calendar before they come into class. So that's their homework. And then we are going to review that. Um, for the teachers, that's what we're going to do. We're just taking it deeper for them. And so, also this book, um, they this is to use at home, and if they have this, you can stick it in their front pocket as well. So anything that is their homework, we want it to go in the front pocket. At the top of these cards right here, there is a color, and um, I don't know how far you've looked into your book, but there's like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, and then it'll eventually switch to 2.1 and then 3.1 and 4.1. So there's four different sections. And this book for them at home correlates with those. And so each section has a big truth and has a big verse, so their Bible verse. And they'll go over it. So I think they're gonna be learning four Bible verses all together. Um, and so they can use this at home to reinforce the lessons that they're going over. So for a while, they'll be on this page. And then when it switches to 2.1, they'll switch to this page and go with their lessons for that whole chapter. And then 3.1 and 4.1 and then however far out it goes. Yeah, I don't know what number it ends on before it switches chapters, but um, we'll learn, won't we? <laughs> so the cards that are in here, um, I put for teacher use and those are in the back pocket of your um, of this little zipper pencil holder. I don't know what to call that. And so you'll notice like the colors switch. So this is the last chapter that goes with that green. And then they have a, 
a whole new big truth and a big verse. So yes, there are four big truths that they will learn this whole club time. And there are four Bible verses they, that they will learn this whole club time. And so um, you want to make sure, I would say whoever is doing the books, once you give them their sticker, applaud them. Um, and if they, if they didn't do it, you can just encourage them, hey, remember to do this when you go home. It'll be really fun. And we could even gift them some stickers to go with it or something. We'll think of ideas along the way um, to encourage them. And so you, whenever you do that, you'll do their book, and then you'll get their cards out, and you'll get the next card for their next week's lesson. So we know that since we're on 1.3, and that's what we're working, let's say, say it's a club night, and we know that on October 26th it says that we are working on 1.3, so they need to have 1.3 completed coming into class, and we know that we're giving them their homework for next week. And so you will take this next card out, which is 1.4, and it is uh, God made the sun, moon, and stars. And so then you will put that on their binder, on their little clip, and then you will put these two things back in their front pocket, right in their front pocket, and you will zip it up so it's nice and safe. And then you will take the rest of the cards and put them back in the back pocket. And you'll zip it up, make sure they're safe. And then you'll put this and their book back in their bag. And then you'll go to the next child, grab their bag, grab their book, and do the same thing with them. See if they check the box, the parents. Give them the sticker, applaud them, move their cards over, and then keep going. I know it's going to be time consuming, so it will be a process. Um, so you may want one person to just do that. So you'll designate a person to be the book and the, the card person. Keep figuring it out, keep exploring. Um, I mean, I have the schedule that is on the wall, but if something is working really well for you, just you can write that down, we can make a new schedule because I'm just not sure what the flow for that class is. I mean, it kind of depends on the kids. So um, you guys just let me know what works for you. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and you know what, I'm just going to say a prayer. I know this is a video, but you know what, I'm going to pray over these kids and over this year and over you because I'm so, so thankful for each and every one of you guys and um, each and every one of these kids. And so I think God's going to do amazing things this year and I'm excited to see what that is. And so anyway, let's go to him in prayer. Dear Father, God, thank you so much for today. God, thank you so much for each and every one of these puggles that are in our Awana Club classes, and thank you so much for each and every one of these leaders, shepherds who have stepped up to take care of your flock, to guide them and lead them and protect them and guard them and pray for them and watch over them, Lord, as they're in our care um, during Club Week and as they're in our thoughts and prayers throughout the week, Father. We pray, Lord, that you will help us as leaders to build bridges into the home so that the parents and the families aren't left alone to learn how to disciple their children or, or to be discipled themselves. God, that we would walk alongside them and that we would be in this together as a community, Father, as you've called us to be, Lord. Thank you so much for what you're going to do, for what you've already done, and just for what you're doing in this, in this moment right now. God, thank you for your love for us. We pray over these families, over these leaders. Thank you so much for each and every one of them, God, and what you're calling them to do. We pray that we would be obedient to our calls and that you would give us the strength and the endurance that we need to follow you and to run the race you have set before us. We love you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you, guys, and I hope you're having a great day, and I hope this was helpful. Please reach out to me if you have any questions at all, and remember that I have all of your supplies in your classroom and ready to go, and, you know, I just thought about, I need to print out puppet scripts. We all have puppet scripts, so we'll figure that out as we go, and maybe I can just keep, we'll keep up to date. So thank you, guys, and I hope you're doing well. Love y'all. Bye.